Father, we just thank you today. Thank you, Lord. Give you all the praise, honor, and the glory, all the wisdom, power, dominion, and might. Glory belongs to you. You worthy to receive praise and inhabit the praises of your people. So, God, we unite ourselves. In one accord, one spirit to magnify your name, to give you glory, to proclaim of your goodness, to invoke your holy presence, to thank you for blessing us, for keeping us, and for making ways out of no ways, for opening doors, for keeping us through seen and unseen dangers, for just bringing us safe thus far. Thank you for this, our holy week, which we just commemorate you through the preached word, through prayer and praise, God. We bless your name, Jesus. We say with all of our heart that we just love you. We adore you. We thank you for giving us a mind to serve you, heart to obey you, assembling us together glorify your name in the earth realm, yes. in our midst. Let your word have free course in this house tonight. Speak unto your people and bless your people. And all over the land where the word of the Lord is being preached and proclaimed, give every speaker a preacher's, a preacher's anointing the preach with clarity and with power to open up the mysteries the death, burial, and resurrection yes. of Jesus Christ, our Savior. Illuminate our minds and touch our minds and unknown our minds to be able to get a visual conception, to see it, God, and to experience it on the inside as it is being preached. In the words of your servant Paul, that we may know you and the power of your resurrection fellowship of your suffering, God. Make us to know you all the more. Bless every saint that is assembled here tonight, God, in this house to give unto you praise. God, bless them. In the name of Jesus, cover the worship and receive it. Cover the praise. Cover the word. Cover every vessel here. Yes. While we hear worship, God, bless our homes. Suffer no unwanted intrusion. Let your angels guard our premises. When we return, let us find everything well, God. Let there be no trouble to and fro, God. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, dear God. Now let the glory of the Lord just be revealed in the saints of God. Show yourself mighty, God. On tonight and on this week, just show yourself might. Confirm your word through signs and wonders, God. Give us the boldness to proclaim, proclaim your word, O oh God, with truth and with power. We rebuke any spirit of fear in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. It's that name that is above every name. Oh God, let the angel of God usher in your presence. Fill our hearts with joy and laughter. Praise and thanksgiving. God, I bless you today. Thank you for all that is said and done. And we give this over to you now. This service and this whole holy week. We give it over to you right now, yes. God. We give it over to you, God. We give it over to you. Do whatever you want to do, God. It's in Jesus' name. Thank you. Thank you. Praise you and bless you. Every saint of God say amen. 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 amen.
And just before the worship, I want you to just, just stand for a moment. Lord, I lift, Lord, I lift your name on high. Come on, sing, Lord, I love, Lord, I love to see your praise. I'm so glad you're in, I'm so glad you're in my
Yeah. 
of you already said, but bless the Lord for the angel of the house. Pastor Barry, clap your hands. And his beautiful wife. We thank God for those that labor amongst us and for us and pray for us and intercede for us. We thank God for them. Thank God for my beautiful fiance. Where is she? Where is she? Right. Hey, baby. <laughs> oh, thank God for that. And her beautiful daughter as well. Thank God whenever people stand up, when there is a gap, you got to be able to stand up. Thank God for her daughter that came up. Thank God for Pastor's daughter that came up and sang. Amen. Amen. Anytime you want to enhance the anointing, God has a special blessing for you. Every time you take care of what a need in the house, God is going to take care of your house. Every time you take care of a need in God's house, God is then obligated to take care of your house. Come on now. Philippians 3 is where we're going to go. 7 through 10. Philippians 3, 7 through verse 10. And the Bible emphatically, prolifically declares, but what things were gained to me, those I counted lost for Christ. Yea, doubtless, and I count all things but loss for the excellency of the knowledge of Christ Jesus my Lord. For whom I have suffered the loss of all things. I do count them as dumb, but dumb, that I may win Christ. And be found in him not having my own righteousness, which is of the law but that which through faith of Christ, the righteousness which is of God by faith. Verse 10, watch this. That I may know him and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his sufferings being made conformable unto his death. I want to take a little time just to be able to preach about <laughs> resurrection power. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you, dear Lord, for allowing us to be able to come into your house. We thank you, Master, for traveling grace and mercy and for watching over us. We thank you that the angels are now walking up and down the house. We thank you that ministering spirits are at our homes. And we thank you that they're watching over our family members and our friends and our loved ones. We thank you, Master, that you are speaking to our hearts. Remove all distractions and anything that is not like you, we rebuke it in the name of Jesus. We cast down the very thing that is holding us back from hearing the word and walking in that word. We speak life into our situation. We speak life into our minds. We speak life into our hearts. We speak life into our spirits. And let us receive what thus said the Lord. In the name of Jesus, we all pray. Let everybody say amen. amen. And amen. This week was a very hard week for Jesus. It was a time of agony and it was a time of decision making in the Garden of Gethsemane. He tore himself apart in prayer so much that he sweat drops of blood. Hmm. I really believe, I believe that that was his flesh ripping apart from his spirit. When he died in that garden, he died before he died on the cross. Can I say it again? He died his, to his flesh in the garden before his physical body died on the cross. Have you ever been there where you had to make a decision? You needed to kill that flesh. You either chose to do it 
or you chose not to do it. But I simply believe when he made that choice in the Garden of Gethsemane, he rose his spirit of obedience to the highest level. When he simply said, nevertheless, not my will be done, but yours. He made that decision. When he could have called 10,000 angels to come and stop it, take me out of here. He decided to stay for you and for me. He decided, the songwriter said it like this, it wasn't the nails that held him to the cross, but it was the love that he had for you and I. I don't we all know that if it would have been one of us, we probably would have took the easy way out, but because Jesus decided to go all the way, we now have entitled to the resurrection power. Come on, y'all gonna get with me, come on. Listen, I asked that, that God, I asked God, he said, may the eyes of your understanding be enlightened concerning that when he died on the cross, he died for your sins. And not only did he die for your sins, he died with your sins. Yes. Listen, listen, know that when he went down, he paid the penalty for your sins. I'm talking about the resurrection. Listen, he resurrected so that we can walk in the resurrection power just as he did. The, the, the reason why he just didn't die as a sacrifice and didn't come back is because he needed evidence. Come on. Uh, it, 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 does anybody have any evidence that he is a healer? Yeah. Anybody been sick? And the doctor couldn't figure out what was wrong, but he just came in the midnight hour and took that thing away from you. You woke up feeling better? Yeah. And do you have any evidence? Yeah. Do you have any evidence that he paid those bills? He made ways out of no way. Yeah. He the best banker I ever had. He better than Chase. He better than Bank One. He is my evidence. My brother can relate. We both know where we come from. Running the street acting crazy, but it, it, won't he make it all right? Ain't he a changer? Can he save you? Can he turn you from one man into another man? He needed that resurrection for the evidence. The evidence. Anytime you go to court, that's the first thing they want. Where's the evidence? Where's the evidence? Romans 6. Can somebody go there? Find it if you can. Romans 6 and 4 through 6, real simply, it says, Therefore we are buried with him by baptism unto death. Like as Christ was raised up from the dead by the glory of the Father. Whose glory? of the Father. That's right. Even so, we should also walk in the newness of life. For if we have been planted together in the likeness of his death, so shall we also be in the likeness of his resurrection. The old man is crucified with him, that the body of sin might be destroyed. And henceforth we shall not serve sin. But watch this, but if we be dead in Christ, we believe that we shall also live with him, being raised from the dead. We die no more. I got three points that I'm going to go. Three points for resurrection power. Number one, I need somebody to help me. Who's a good reader in here? Raise your hand. Who can find the Bible real quick? I need you to turn to Philippians 3 and 21. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. 3 and 21. I need somebody else to find John 20 and 15. Come on, we're going to have some revival in here. We're going to have some fun in here. How many things? All things. Number one, the point is the resurrection power that we have is the ability to overcome obstacles, both natural and supernatural. And God even gave it to me like this. He said, especially to overcome the demonic. We have the ability to be able to overcome those obstacles that has been set before us because they have already been overcome by what he did through the resurrection. 
And being that we are talking about the resurrection, how many of us have killed ourselves that we may be able to rise up and walk in that power to be able to run through troops and leap over?